I'll just, I don't know whether you're recording, but it's really, I just, um, I just hit record, and, you know, about today on Facebook, I said they should call that the mega meta meltdown. I saw that. <laughs> We were like, wait, my password is protected. I was about to fight. Like, wait a minute. They in here, they getting me. Ah, (laughs) And then people start saying, me too. There's nothing worse than, okay, this is my password. It's not working. There's something not working. So then I try another password. Well, what what other password could I have had? And I was in the middle of talking to Scott and I was in the middle of talking to Jax. And so we were like, right. And so she thought, and she thought the same thing I did because we were looking at a post in particular that was talking about someone crazy. And we, and I hit the, I think I felt like I had touched that button and all of a sudden, like maybe that I had brought some type of virus onto my computer. And and, and then I was like, Jax, check my page. Make sure I think someone's hacking me. And it, it gave this message that says, your activities are sus- suspicious. Oh. And oh. you are moving too fast and behaving. I, I was like, what? Are you talking about me or them? Who's moving too fast? You are engaging in behavior that may be considered annoying and abusive to others. So I'm like, oh my God, they're on here posting crazy things to people. Facebook systems determined that you were going too fast and when taking an action, you must significantly slow down. Further misuse of the site features may result in temporary block of your account being permanently disabled. Temporary block or your... And I was like, talking about me? (laughs) Me? What? Anyway, mass chaos, mass chaos. Well, it's mass chaos. We had an amazing uh, amount of solar activity. Um, and it, it, it's interesting um, talking to a few people. Um, people are, are having challenges with remembering things. Um and it's I think it has a lot to do with the electromagnetic field around the planet and all of this energy is just causing um, um, havoc. So um, I think I think one of the things that we have to be aware of is as we go through planetary changes, our electromagnetic fields are starting to dampen. And when that happens, people's memories are not as intact because our, our memories are electromagnetic right so um i think we have to be aware that things are just starting to um move and shift so uh, probably um there's nothing wrong with people. <laughs> it's, just, it's just an energetic type of thing so i it's interesting because i pulled three cards today erica and I pulled them from the map. And um, the first card I pulled was number 25, which is metamorphosis. And I'm thinking, well, that's interesting. Meta. Meta, yeah. The second one was the balancing act. And the third one was intention. So I'm looking at these cards and just looking at what's happening around us. And it's like, wow, it, they're just telling us that we're going through big changes right now. There's meta, 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 metamorphosis. So there's lots of stuff that's going on. And um, it, we have to try and remain balanced during these times. So um, there's going to be it's it's uh, in this in this picture, in this card, there's a type rope and, uh, you know, balancing onto that. I think that um, these next these next whiles, these next whiles, whatever that means, um, we're going to have to be really cautious or conscious of how we navigate through these energies. and. Um, 
um, it's important to um, realize that we will have to find a balance, um, but I think we can do it through intentions. So, you know, um, the intentions can come in the form of um, just, you know, in the morning is like, um, I find my way clearly through the day. Um, any challenges um, are easily um, um, dissolved, you know. So I think we have to walk through this next period of time aware that there's going to be all kinds of energy shifts. We're going to have to balance, but through our intentions, we'll be able to navigate through this the, through these challenging times. And, and they're not and challenging doesn't have to be bad. It's just that we're changing. Right. You, 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 when we have a storm and that's that's yeah, I don't mean to quote that. But when there's a storm, you know, you batten down the hatches, you're prepared for it. You don't go and do, you know, like uh, you're not going to go sunbathing in the storm. So you you just know what you're, you're OK. My intention is, OK, we've got a storm, so I'm just going to sort of like. Um, stay put and and just I know what I have to do and I'm not gonna um, go and do anything weird so um, that is that is my um, that is my message of the day and very interesting and what so the three think? cards were metamorphosis and what else metamorphosis metamorphosis Balancing act and intention. Gosh, that sounds so familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know for me, I just I just totally feel like like Indiana Jones, <laughs> you know, yeah, but, um, you know, how he has to choose to step on the right stone and to stay on the right path or yeah. else you step on that wrong stone and then this big ball comes out and knocks you down or something. Right. Well, right. not, not as if we should be hopeless, but I really feel like we have to we have to balance between being naive and being too suspicious. We have yeah. to balance between being overly righteous and downtrodden, you know, like we can be we can be too sure of ourselves or then we can have complete lack of confidence. We can be so easily led or we can just be completely stubborn. Like we're just always in this point of figuring out how to stay balanced like you say but there is this this feeling of not neutrality to the point of pain because mm -hmm. i think people think we can rise above things and be completely neutral when we do know right from wrong when you're being neutral you're supposed to be removing your emotions from it but not your common sense yeah. And sometimes yeah. we don't need to put our feelings into certain things that we see, but we don't need to be so blind that we can't see when other people are coming off the tracks. Mm -hmm. So we can't follow them off the tracks, but we can't condemn them at the same time. Like, oh, they're just the rotten and they're going to burn and you know, like to the point of we have this total judgment, but just remain in this place of understanding that's their path and not ours. And we got to pull back a bit. And I'm seeing people who they're nice people and maybe they've been on the path for 20 years and they've been doing this for so long and you see people making some wobbly decisions, but we have to have enough good sense to bring ourselves back to what is good for us? What is for us? What is our own choices and decisions and what we think is right? And that's coming into the having of the foundation of your own connections and not relying on the connections of others. And 
how many times can we say that per episode? <laughs> you, know, you know what? And I suppose if we keep saying it, it needs to be heard, right? And every time you say it, there's you hear it at a different in a different frequency. So it's it's good. It it, it needs to be said. We have to be in a place of, 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 of being able to see things from a higher perspective. Because if we, if we don't, then we get pulled into the dramas. And it's a drama that is based in an old energy. And it's not going anywhere. It's just, it's just a loosh. It's just a matter of like, let's, let's pull you down into the mud. And, you know, like you get stuck in there and it's like, this is, this is not getting me anywhere, you know, and, and people get pulled into it because they're familiar with it, but it's, it's time to just sort of like, eh, okay, you know what? I see this is a big mud puddle. I don't need to go in there anymore. Right. It's not, it's not going to get you anywhere because it's all, it's just all energies and, and there's no, there's, because it's mud, it, nobody sees a clear, it, it's not clear. Right. There's yes. nothing, it's all muddled energies and it's a, co a combination of energies and it's not one particular energy. It's just all of them combined. And so it's confusion. It's a chaos. We were using this to discuss too, like we were talking discussing police this morning or just certain kinds of people. And I was like, you're just not going to understand those kinds of people that are attracted to those kinds of jobs that have the um, the negative energies because that's not the energy that you have. So you're not going to under ever understand certain people and the way that they function. But I noticed before, and I guess that's when we get into that non-player characters type yeah. attitudes that people have because you're looking at some people and I swear to God when I'm dealing with a lot of customer service on the phone I'm like this person is acting like a robot and they're like self-destructing so before my trip I was like oh my god now I'm coming back and like even seeing like the so-called so-called community gossip because I'm I see this thing that it's called a community and I'm like, I, I don't understand because everybody has a different lie. Everybody has a different goal. Everybody has a different focus on what they think is important in this community. And so, and I'm seeing like the little sabotages and punches and I'm calling people out and I had a dream about you and, oh, somebody predicted this. And it's like, what the crap? And I think people are a lot, letting a lot of loose bullets fly they don't care who gets hit in between and not even thinking of the consequences of what if i'm wrong with what i said well and and i i, I have to say this just from having over the years that i do meditation and exploring levels of consciousness there's a lot of energies out there that are just vying to get in and because the frequencies are changing. There are lots of holes in people's fields that they can get in. And when people, when you go into a dream state, for example, you're moving into an astral realm. There's no barriers there. And so you can get, you're being influenced by energies that you don't even know who they are. They can come in and say, oh, I'm Archangel, blah, blah, blah. How do you know who it is? You know, they can they can disguise themselves. They can use the frequencies to make you think whatever they want you to think. And and it's really important to vet that information. And it's important that we connect with our higher self. And and so, you know, like I said, going in here is what are you, what are your intentions? Like you just don't go out there and just say, oh, OK, I'm, I'm walking in the middle of a of a. Uh, of a of a of a war field and well whatever energies come to me are going to be good um you can't you you have to be more cautious about it so taking your intention and say okay this is we're going to be navigating through some un, unsteady waters here so i've got to remain i've got to maintain my balance maintain my focus what are my intentions you know i'm going to make it through the day without having too many challenges. That's a great intention. 
or I'm going to be able to see, you know, whatever the challenges are, I'll be able to see clearly what the, what they, uh, what, what the intention of it. We don't have to make anything too uh, extreme. We can just make it so that each day is one that we're able and capable of moving through freely. And, and I think in these times we have to do what we can to empower ourselves. Most definitely. So uh, what I'm looking forward to is tomorrow, the made up reasons on why Facebook shut down and why Instagram or yeah, shut down and the new theories behind that. I'm really getting to this point where all of it just seems like chatter with a lot of the predictions and like, oh, maybe somebody got some black goo on the server or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the spider queen came out to play or something random and something, something intense. And, you know, meanwhile, you know what you know and you know, you know, there's a lot of stuff we don't know, but there's a lot of people who really want to claim that they know the answers and they are there with that diamonic energy wanting to glitter and shine and and become a one hit wonder based on, you know, our curiosity of seeking the answer outside of ourselves. And they want to give you that answer and uh, some fabulous predictions and some reasons yeah. when you'll never really know until you. You know, and some stuff, do you need to know every goddamn thing? I don't know. Yeah. Terry, what color is your bra? I don't know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like some things do we need to know? No, really no. Oh my God, Terry. Oh. <laughs> I need to find me a pair of pearls so I can clutch them. <laughs> here's the gold just, right <laughs> okay girl i know um just some things we don't need to know like some things i think like do i need to know that because is that a part of my journey like how is that helping me today yeah and you know yeah. but anyway that's that yeah great cards we'll do our individual and we'll shut this down yeah and I won't kick anybody out and end the whole chat like normal. <laughs>